Tour Striker Nation, Martin Chuck here, and I'm at the studio at the Raven Golf Club in Phoenix, Arizona. And it's time for you to book your golf school vacation and come down and have some fun with me right here in Phoenix. Now, this video is about the Tour Striker Educator. I want to thank a ton of you. You've, many of you have bought the Educator. And for those of you who haven't, I want to explain why I call it the Educator, how it's going to help you. One, I'm not the originator of this idea. This, this idea of something that helps us feel this motion against our lead form has been around for a long, long time. I just put it into a little different twist with a few variables that are helpful throughout the game and let me explain. So this is a mid-size grip by the way. Some people that buy this say, hey Martin, I have a hard time getting it on my mid-size grip or my oversized grip. Well, when you take the metal post and you put it in the vental of your grip, just a fraction, you see how much I've left there, let the cap slide down and from here you can easily pry the cap down onto the grip and then go ahead and push the post down until it self tightens within the shaft. Don't push too hard, you'll feel it self tighten. Now as you can see here, I've got this in an 8 iron, you can put it in any golf club, I use it in my driver too and my putter, I'll show you later. There is the educator vertical matching the grooves. Well this is the original idea, can you move the golf club in the plane of your left arm without too much of this funny business that might mess up your wrist conditions. And if you mess up your wrist conditions, you're messing up your club face condition. So that's the whole idea of educating your hands so that you know where the club face is. So you have more reliability in del delivering a face to the golf ball. It starts at where you want the golf ball to go. So the simple way to get started with your educator, whether you're chipping or pitching, and I'll hit a little, uh, little like 10 yard pitch shot here. Take notice of what the club face does. This club face, when I hit this little shot, it has a rotation. That face isn't pointing down the line right now. It's pointing over to the right somewhere over there. And then it squares, and that's hopefully at impact, it's square enough to be a good shot. And then, now this club face in my finished position is pointing to my left. So as we collect a golf ball down here, I'm looking at the ball mindful of the feeling of the educator in my hands and how that club rotates as it swings along its arc. Really critical. Too many people out there are trying to make the club face go straight back and straight through a contrived motion that is highly unreliable. So with your educator, you'll feel, you'll feel the behavior needed to actually let a club work on an arc with a, the right rate of closure to collect great short shots. And you can grow that up into full swings. You can hit full swings doing the same thing. Get your good hands on there. And if you have a stronger grip, there's no shame in turning the educator arm a fraction more to the right, and that's fine. I get that question all the time. So when I'm set up now to hit a more of a full eight iron, my eyes rest on the golf ball. My brain is very mindful of the club working in the plane of the lead arm. You'll notice how the club is moving, hinging and unhinging in the plane of my left arm. I haven't over rotated that face open haven't created too many angles that are going to be really hard to time in the quickness of swing. We want to take away variables so that we can be reliable. So in your backswing, feel this action, feel this hinging and unhinging of the golf club in the plane of your lead arm and that's going to make things a lot easier to deliver a nice square strike down at the golf ball. I'll demonstrate and hit a shot for you. So that's a nice feeling strike. So that's the common way of using your educator. Short little chips, pitches, shots with the educator arm working in the plane of your lead arm. Okay. Now some here, some trickery. This is some stuff that makes this product different than others you may see on the market. And lately there's been some on the market. So they say, you know, copying is a flattery. Well, whatever. They can't do this. This is patented. The adjustability makes the educator special. So my wife, named this the under over drill. Let me explain the cool features of the under over drill. You see in a golf swing, if I just held this powerlessly in my thumb and index finger and I spin around, what's going to happen? You can see how that club, by inertia and its mass, it's, it swings out and it seeks to go perpendicular to the source of motion. Now I don't mean to talk over your head here, I just mean to tell you that your golf swing's got kind of a life of its own and you need to understand this critical piece. You see, if you are truly relaxed to a circulation and you get the golf club 
in this nice position at the top, and you can see how the bulbous point of the educator is underneath my forearm. Well, when I start to rotate, guess what? That club doesn't want to go this way. It wants to fall perpendicular to my rotation, which is some of the magic and how a club swings inside out. I don't want you trying to shove a club inside out, and I don't care who tells you to do that, club pros, Uncle Al, whoever, because any time that I sit in here and I try to swing inside out, I change my low point position. I want you to learn how to let the club orbit inside out. And orbiting inside out is from relaxation in understanding educated wrists, relaxed wrists that are inspired to behave properly because of your pivot, your rotation. So the under over drills like this, get a golf ball. Again, let your eyes rest on the golf ball and let your mind be engaged in what's happening in your backswing. So if I have the correct grip here, I'm not gripping it way up high on the club, I'm down on the grip. Uh, the grip cap is slightly above my, my left hand, my lead hand. And as I make my backswing, that bulbous tip on the educator arm is below my form. You can see as I kind of wiggle that right there. Now as I start to unwind, look what happens to the educator arm. It's on the outside of my forearm. It started on the inside, but through dynamics, it goes to the outside. And when the club is behind me over there and I rotate, I have no choice but to have a nice shallow inside out strike. So start off doing these about 70% speed. Looks something like this. And when you can do them at 70%, then graduate 80, 85, until finally you can do this at full speed. The under over drill is a great way to feel and to synchronize rotation and relaxation required for your best strikes. And you can do this with your driver. It really doesn't matter what club you use in. Pop it in your driver. Now, here is the complete training aid. How about improving your putting? Take your educator and please don't pull on the plastic. Use the bolt, loosen the bolt a little bit, pop it out of one of its settings and put it in its most vertical setting. Now I've got a jumbo grip here and it fits jumbo grips too. I mean, I'm sure there's some grip it doesn't fit. Now pop it in the vent hole a little bit. Okay, just a little bit. Let the cap go down, push it on, there it goes. Now you'll notice I've got this 90 degrees to the face, okay? It's 90 degrees to the face, pushing it in to tighten it a little bit, because when I putt, I want the rate of my putter moving at the same speed as my forearms. I don't want to have this behavior from my hands adding speed or adding hit. I want to see if I can move the putter head and my arms at the same rate. So by letting the bulbous point of the educator rest on the forearm, you'll feel if you're adding hands, if you're wiggling around too much right there, rather than just having a nice pace with your putter. Super simple way to putt. Go ahead and get set up. Set the bulbous tip of the educator on your forearm. Uh, obviously your eyes are going to rest on the golf ball and we're going to make this peaceful stroke and let the ball react off the putter head without adding any hit or excess, excessive hand action. So this is Martin Schuck signing off, the Tour Striker Educator. You know, I made it years ago in the kitchen of my house. I got a drill out. I started bending coat hangers around and fabricating this thing. I ruined a cutting board and my wife was really mad at me. Well, she's forgive me because we sold a bunch of these and they've helped a ton of golfers. So Tour Striker Nation, Martin Chuck signing off from the studio at the Raven. I hope you're all doing great. God bless you all. And if we'd love to see you come down here and see us at the Golf Academy. Take care.